What's up? It's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a very important topic and a very, I feel, necessary and needed topic for some of you guys. For me especially, because sometimes I feel like I'd be making these videos for me because I, hmm, my view count. Anyway, <laughs> today I want to talk about anxiety and what I do to help reduce the amount of times I get anxiety and the severity at which it happens. Severity is a word, right? The level at which it happens? You know what I mean. Hopefully any of these tips can help you guys if you kind of deal with anxiety from time to time as well. And if not, sorry sis, this is just what I do personally. I recommend that you find whatever works for you and just try out a bunch of different things from other people if you don't already have some things to help you and you just feel like you'd be going through it sometimes. But other than that, I kind of have a thing that works for me now. Thank God, because when I first started to get it back in high school, and it wasn't even like early, it was like senior year. It hit, sis, it was bad, like it was bad. And I had never really dealt with that before. Over the years, this is what I have found works for me as like a temporary solution. So like now, I don't get it as often, but it still comes. So if you guys have any tips on how you deal with anxiety, please comment them down below. I'd love to still try out different things and see if that works better than what I'm already doing and vice versa. So the first thing I do when I feel like, well actually let me tell you how I know I'm finna have an anxiety attack. I'll start to get nervous. I'll start to have my hands kind of shake. I'll start to like breathe quickly, more rapidly. My heart rate will increase. I'll start to like rub myself. So like I'll rub the back of my neck, I'll like pull out my hair, which is probably why I've been out the same list for like two years now. I'll pull out my hair, it's really, it's really bad. Trichophilomania, don't do it sis. I'll like rub my arm, I'll like rub against my thighs, like I'll rock back and forth and then I'm like alrighty so I'm not feeling okay. How I deal with it, well these are a few of the things that I do. I'll try and take deep breaths in and out. But sometimes if it's really bad, I'll like go and tell someone. So like I'll tell one of my friends or I'll tell my mom or my dad. I don't know, it's weird because to me, I'll just feel like in the back of my head, like if I tell somebody and I end up dying for whatever reason, at least somebody knows. And I don't know why, but to me, it almost kind of mentally makes me feel better that somebody knows that there's something like not right with me just in case like maybe they can go get help or something. I don't know because I feel like when nobody knows I'm not okay and something happens to me then it's like then I'm really screwed also I don't do this one often but sometimes I'll count my numbers and I don't just like count to 10 or 20 like I just count like I just count until it's over like I'll count I think the furthest I've ever went one time was like 150 or 200 or something. I'm trying to focus on like what number comes after this number so it kind of it kind of distracts me like it makes me not think about the situation in which I get anxiety from but it makes me focus on like what number comes after two three okay what comes after that four it's like what comes after five? Oh, I know what comes after five like obviously it's six okay what comes after that seven and I do it like for so long or until I need them like all right um I'm Gucci a big thing that I do I don't know anybody else who does this but honestly I be feeling crazy for this I talk to myself but I mean I talk talk to myself like I'll talk to myself as if I was somebody else talking to me but it's me talking to me. Does that make sense? Like, and I really be feeling crazy. But yo, this is the one that helps me out the most. And I'll call my myself terms of endearment. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. Like, I'll address myself like, it's okay, babe. Like, we can do this. Like, you got this. You know it's gonna be okay. I'm like, babe, like, why are you freaking out? You know everything's gonna work out. It always does. Like, chill out. You gotta breathe. Like, babe, babe, it's okay. Like, I'll call myself babe. Like. Bro, when I tell you self-love, that's the real thing, man. Also, sometimes when I do, this one pertains more to like stress than anxiety. But when I'm stressed, I'll take a shower. And showers are so therapeutic for me. Like, if if I'm not, if I'm, mm -mm, if it's, mm, if it's off the wall, like, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing. Like, in the middle of what I'm doing. And I'm taking a shower. <laughs> and sometimes, like, I've taken a shower like three times a day. Like, but whatever helps you, honestly. Also, what I do is I like to play music. Yes, we play music. But I only play like my favorite, favorite songs when I'm feeling anxious. When I play my favorite songs, I'm jamming out. Like, I'm going hard. Like, I might be dancing. I might be singing my heart out. And if it like, 
puts my mind in a different place that I feel better about, then like, that's what I'm gonna do until I need to come back and address the actual situation. Other times, if it's just too bad that like I can't function, like I really just feel like none of these things are working, I accept that I'm going through anxiety and I just cry it out. Like, I've been such a big crybaby this year. Ugh. In the public eye, I am G-A-F, like I am gangster. like you will, you ain't never caught a tear. You will never catch me crying in public, like all my life. And behind closed doors or I'm in a secluded place or I might go to like a nice spot with a nice scenery, like I let it out. Because sometimes I feel like when you actually hold it in for too long, you'll explode in front of everybody and then that's like a bad scene, you know what I mean? Or if I feel really bad, I'm going to go somewhere by myself and I'm just gonna accept that this is happening and just cry it out for however long I need. And then when I've gotten it all out, I actually like feel better. And I don't know if that's like a hormonal thing, a psychological thing or what. Also what I do is I pray, I be praying to JC. I be like, yo Jay, help your girl out cause I'm going through it. I don't know how many of you guys are like Christian or who are followers followers of Christ. If you are, I would say just get your relationship right with JC because honestly, God will help you through your hardest of hard times. And sometimes when you're going through it, it doesn't feel like it, but like, it's like really powerful stuff. Like prayer works, guys, prayer works. If you're not a believer of Christ, then I would say, I mean, if you feel like um, talking to the universe helps or like sending out good vibes or whatever, do that too. Because I feel like I want to say it's the equivalent, but like, if you feel like that's your higher power or whatever, you yourself, like as a being, are like powerful and your thoughts are powerful. So like, if that works for you, send that all out there and be like, yo, I'm going through it, but like, it's gonna be okay. And just like, talk yourself out of it and just say whatever you need to say, which also leads me into my next point. I got the list right here in case you was wondering what this was. I will like talk to myself and tell me all the things that I wish somebody would tell me and I like it's crazy I don't believe the things that I'm saying but I say them anyway so it's really weird it's like I'll be like I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay I'm gonna be okay it's gonna be okay everything's gonna work out I don't believe none of that crap as I'm sitting there bawling my eyes out and like shaking and being like yo like it's good it's good it's good like it's really bad but like I'll I will say that stuff I don't, it's really hard to explain like I don't know if it will work for any of you, but it just works for me. Like, I will be going through it and I'll tell myself it's gonna be okay and all these positive things, even though I don't believe it at all. And like, eventually, and sometimes it takes a minute, like 30 minutes later, 45 minutes later, like, it'll sink into my subconscious or something. Also, the combination of the other things that I said, and it just makes me like feel better. Like, it makes me feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. Sometimes, also, what I do, and I know it sounds really bad, but hey, you do what you gotta do, right? I'll think of people who have it way worse than me. It kinda almost makes you feel like, dang, I'm crying over this, or dang, I feel like this. But if you really think about it, it's not that bad. Like, cause most of the things in terms of like anxiety is perspective based, you know? Like, you could be feeling like the whole world is ending right now because of whatever you're going through. That guy, that girl, might have just like lost a sibling. Or they might have just gone to a to a car accident or they might have just like not had enough money to like eat dinner that night or you know whatever it is because because I'm telling you there's always somebody way worse than you and it never feels like it at that time because you're like woe is me and it's like I get that but sometimes I have to really look at my situation and just count my blessing did you wake up this morning you did check does your do your lungs work can you breathe check are you sick no check can you walk yeah check do you have all your limbs are they functioning yeah and sometimes you have to go back to basics of like what you have and even if you don't have those things just to count what you do have and it really puts it into perspective like okay this feels really crappy right now but i have these things because if i didn't have these things then maybe actually i would feel bad about these things and sometimes when we have it we don't know it we don't appreciate it we don't really think about it until we lose it because because really all anxiety is is fear of what hasn't happened yet which i also have to remind myself a lot of times yeah, actually, <laughs> I think I just read them all. I actually got really into it, which is, which is cool. You guys, I really hope that what I said helped some of you out there. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. This one was kind of on like a more serious note. So sorry for changing up the vibe. But 
sometimes that's needed too. From yours truly to you, I'm Amy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, loves. So I hit it like woo 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 woo. You know how the kids do. When I'm in my troop, turn up on you when I'm in my troop. Yeah. Out of you, you when I'm in my troop. Out of you when I'm in my troop. Pull up in the like woo.